Hi everyone, it's Vicki here with the Saskatchewan Sports Hall of Fame. I'm the education coordinator. Um, doing another experiment to show you how STEM and sport really go together. What do I have here? Well, I have a flat cookie sheet uh, or anything, you can use anything that's flat and it's got some ice in it. Now it's quickly melting because I'm inside, but it is covered with ice and we're going to do a little experiment today to investigate what things slide best on ice. So it might get you thinking, why is a hockey puck shaped like it is? Why is it made from the material that it's made out of? And you can see I'm filming by our um, interactive adaptive uh, curling sheet of ice, because when you come here, you can actually curl in the Saskatchewan Sports Hall of Fame. But why are curling rocks shaped the way they are? How do they slide? Why are they shaped? Why are they heavy? What's going on there? So we're really investigating um, things that slide, why they slide, and it all has to do with friction. So, first of all, I have a whole little bag full of things that I'm gonna try and slide around this ice. So we're gonna pretend it's like a hockey uh, rink, skating rink, um, whatever you wanna do on it, and we're gonna experiment what slides best on this ice, okay? So first of all, um, so what I've got here, I'll show you what I have and then you guys can pick whatever you want when you do this experiment. I got a, just a plain old cotton ball. I have some of these things that are, they're like a foam, piece of foam that has a sticky on the other side that you might put under furniture to keep it from scratching your floor. Your mom and dad might have that around. If not, I've got like a dice that's a square. I've got a rock that's quite rough. I have another rock that's quite soft or not soft I should say smooth and then I've got a really um, smooth bead it's like a glass bead and a bottle cap oh and a penny that was hiding in my bottle cap so we're going to try and slide all of these and see how they work so the first thing that I want you to do when you're doing this experiment is make a sheet similar to this that you're going to make predictions will it slide you're gonna do that before you even start. Then as you go through, fill in, did it slide? And what slides the best, okay? So maybe um, list on the side what everything is. Will it slide, did it slide? And then what works the best? So let's, let's do this together and let's see what works. So it all has to do with what slides. So here we got a cotton ball. What slides the best? If I push this, oh, it stopped dead. Why did it stop dead? Okay, that's what you're gonna investigate. Now I got a little bit of water on here from the melting. We're gonna try and take that off a little bit. So here's that little foam pad. I've got a small one and a big one. So we're gonna try the small one first. Again, it stopped pretty much. It didn't slide very good. Now that one I kind of threw, so that wasn't very good. Try and just slide it. Not a good slider. How about the big one? Not a great slider either. Okay, you're gonna pick whatever you have. So here's a rock and I'm gonna put the rough side down. Not a great slider. Not too bad if you push it, but it's kind of rough on the bottom. Let's try the dice. Now the dice is kind of smooth, but it's square. Ooh, that one slid really nicely because it's smooth on the sides. Okay, here's a very smooth rock. What do you think, is it gonna slide? Yeah, that slid pretty good, pretty easy. Here's that really soft kind of glass speed. Ooh, it went right to the end. You could even hear it hitting the end. Slid really, really well. I'm gonna try and get a little bit more water off the top. So if your ice is very wet, you might have to do that every so often. Here's a bottle cap. So we'll try it on both sides. So we'll try it on the, the smooth side and then the side that's kind of hollowed out that you would screw on. Okay, so let's try it on this side. Ooh, that didn't slide as well as I thought it might. Okay, that gripped. And then that side, similar. Okay, and then let's try a penny. Ooh, that kind of gripped a little bit too. So, which one slid the best, would you say? I was gonna say the glass bead. 
because that really went. It's very close to the shape of a hockey puck, although a hockey puck is not made from glass, okay? But experiment with all of them, see which one slides the best, investigate what friction has to do with this, and then I want you to take it further and investigate why um, curling rocks are made the way they are. What friction has a lot to do with curling, a lot to do with the spin of the rock, why the rock is made the way it is. So really investigate um, why things are made the way they are to slide on ice and what friction does and has a part of, okay? So hopefully you can do that with your class and maybe at home it's a fun experiment to do with your parents. See if they can uh, guess how these things are going to slide and use anything that you have around the house that you wanna try on your frozen um, cookie sheet, pan, any type of flat surface that you have, okay? Thank you for joining me today. Hopefully you come back and see another video of STEM experiments.